The time is ticking down in the Sweet 16 matchup for the Wildcats versus Clemson. Kega 9's Aaron Patterson joins us live at Barrio Brewery with some fan reaction. It's not looking too good right now, Aaron. Yeah, Heidi, you know, Arizona was able to tie up the game for just a little bit, but now they now trail Clemson once again. Fans are dialed in behind me, and they are really rallying behind this team in hopes they make it to the Elite Eight for the first time in nine years. Now, you can hear some of the cheering behind me. It's kind of quiet right now, but this game, despite the cheering, has had some fans worried, and here's what one of them had to say at the half. Pretty sad, like shocked. I mean, after what we what we went through last year, um, <laughs> I mean, it's a slightly better caliber team that we're playing right now. So it's college basketball, baby. Like this, anything can happen in college basketball. March Madness. Now Clemson is still leading, and there's about six minutes left in the game. If the Wildcats can pull this off, they'll head to the Elite Eight to face either UNC or Alabama. I'll have final scores for you in Kega 9's news at 10. At Barrio Brewing, Aaron Patterson, Kega 9. Aaron, thank you so much. Current score 65-58. We caught up with U of A students before the big game to see how they were planning to cheer on the Cats. The Wildcats are just one win away from reaching the Elite Eight. U of A students like John Hart have been holding down the fort on campus and feeling great about our second C team. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hoping they'll take it. I know Clemson's doing really well this year in basketball, so I'm kind of worried about that. But overall, I think U of A's got it. Hart said no assignment or pop quiz was going to keep him from watching today's highly anticipated game. He even told us he was going to be watching the game from his classroom. And Pat is at Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles where that game is going down right now as we speak. He will have highlights and fan reaction coming up tonight at 10 o'clock.